side foot plants, my planting foot points towards the goal, but this foot coming through the ball and landing on my shooting foot. I know there's tons of free kick tutorials already on YouTube, but I thought I'd give you guys my own version and give you a few of my own tips. Now, let me start by saying free kicks are not something I practice a lot. And it's something I'm definitely gonna work on more this season. But my biggest pet peeve is when players go to the field every day and they're really motivated to get better, but all they do is take free kicks, hit dead balls all day. And I know it's a lot of fun, it's great, but realistically in the match, how many free kicks do you actually take? Sometimes you go the whole game, sometimes you might even... I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. A few things for you to think about. First of all, it all starts, like I always talk about, in your head. Okay, if you're having negative thoughts before you even take the shot, you're thinking about the ball going out for a throw in or an easy shot into the keeper's hands, putting it high over the net. If you're thinking about all these things, visualizing them, it's gonna happen when you take the shot. So you need to learn to control your thoughts control your visualizations. So talk to yourself positively when you put that ball down, say, this is a great goal scoring opportunity. I'm gonna get this on net. I'm gonna focus on good technique. I'm gonna control everything I can control, block out all the negative stuff. Visualize this ball coming off your foot. Visualize the ball whipping, curling into the top corner, okay? Put those images in your mind and you're setting yourself up to succeed. So put the ball down on the spot. You can uh, put a specific point on the ball, like an emblem. If you want, some people do that. Personally, I don't do that. I just put it on a nice patch of grass, some nice dead brown grass, somewhere where it's gonna stand still. Then my run up, it's pretty short. Now again, these are, this is how I take free kicks. if you're not the free kick taker without hitting a dead ball. So why is this something that you put 100% of your time into? I think it's something that you should work on 15, 20 minutes after every training session. And it's definitely a great skill to have because one day it will come in very handy. So today I wanted to show you guys a few free kicks I took and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about technique and talk mainly about one change that I made while I was taking these shots that got me much better results. So here we're in a slow motion and this was before I made the change. But as you can see, there's a few things to my free kick technique. I don't have a very big run up. I take a slow run up. I plant my foot beside the ball, point my toes to the net. And then the foot contact with the ball is I'm trying to push it with almost the big side of my big toe, the inside of my big toe, pushing that through the ball. I'm trying to visualize the path of the ball. I'm not just hitting it and hoping it. I'm trying to visualize the path that that ball is gonna take. So I'm trying to hit this top corner here. I'm trying to get it over the wall, number one, so important. The worst thing you can do is put it into the wall. But I'm pushing it over the wall, I'm visualizing the path that ball is gonna take, and I'm trying to curl it to that far corner. Now you can see my body movement, it's taking me away from goal, and that's helping the ball curl back. Now here's the change I made. Now if you can see there, I put a lot more emphasis on landing on my shooting foot. Before I was just hitting it and kind of guiding it there. When I started doing this, as you can see, pushing through the ball, same technique, but I'm really flowing through on my shooting foot, as you'll see here. My side foot plants, my planting foot points towards the goal, but this foot coming through the ball and landing on my shooting foot. This if you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. It allowed me to get much more whip on the ball, and it actually allowed me to be much more consistent as far as hitting the net, not putting it over the net. It would really get more pace on it, but it would make sure that the ball came back down after it went over the wall. So I was really happy with this one change, and unfortunately it started raining at this point, and I had to end the session, but I want to get out there this week and practice this technique some more. So as you can see in slow motion, short run up, eye on the ball. Yes, I'm trying to visualize, get it over the wall, plant that foot pointing towards the net, hit with the inside of my big toe, and I'm falling through 
in the air landing on my shooting foot and that was really allowing me to get more whip on the ball. So if you guys like this free kick tutorial and you want some more tips, again I only did this in a few minutes before it started raining so I can definitely do some more of this in the future. Now you can see my two different techniques. The one I wasn't jumping through on my shooting foot, I was just kind of placing the ball there I wasn't getting enough power but as soon as I started to make that change hitting the ball with the same technique body over the ball planting foot pointing towards the goal hitting with the inside of my big toe but jumping through on that shooting foot if you want to improve faster and achieve more this season use the soccer success planner it's 100% free players all around the world have already used it to improve you can download it right now there's a link in the description below find a, a rhythm you need to find a a pattern you need to find a technique that is comfortable for you you have to be comfortable and you're only going to get that if you go to the field and you put in the practice you get the repetitions if you just put the ball down on game day you've never taken a free kick all week and you expect to score and then you miss and you're upset you really don't deserve to be upset okay so you have to put in the practice find out what works for you this is what works for me i'll put it down i'll take probably three four steps something like this distance right here not uh straight on like David Beckham style, whipping around it. I'm more of like a 30 degree angle, something like this. Then when I'm approaching the ball, so I'm focusing on hitting with the inside of my foot. I don't do knuckle balls. I do a nice curling free kick. I think a knuckle ball is really unreliable. You might hit a good one out of every 10 or 20. So this is more consistent for me. I'm trying to hit off the inside of my foot, my big toe right there. And I'm hitting kind of on the bottom of the ball. I want to get it up over that wall and I want it to come down. Now, the way it comes down depends on my follow through, but getting it over the ball, I'm trying to hit not really low, but on the bottom third. If you're hitting and it's going too high, you're probably hitting too low on the ball. If it's going into the wall, you're probably hitting too high on the ball. So analyze your technique and make the changes. But again, I'm hitting with the inside of my big toe there, bottom of the ball. Now the follow through, for me, this is the most important part of getting that whip on it and getting it to come back down. So you'll probably see some guys that'll take a free kick and they'll land on that shooting foot, something like that. That's what I try to do, but I really focus on carrying my follow through towards my target. So instead of hitting the ball and jumping and stopping dead on the spot like that, I'm instead trying to push through towards my target. So I'm really guiding the ball. I'm pushing that ball on that path that I want it to take. And then I'm landing on that shooting foot like I demonstrated, but I'm going forward with that technique. So it looks something like this. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going through it. Now, when I'm looking at the wall, I'm actually really focusing on a spot above the wall. So yes, I am focused on the net. I'm focused on which spot I want to hit, which corner I want to hit, but I'm really focusing on getting it over the wall and then letting my technique handle the rest of it. So get it over the wall, focus on that good technique, and you're likely that that ball is going to whip back on target. Now, again, this is something you have to practice again and again, but check out these clips and try for yourself.
From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the online soccer academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.